Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to another junk journal flip through. This one is for Jill. She actually ordered this for her mother and her mom really liked hummingbirds and had lost her husband. I don't remember if that was recently, but she misses him. And so Jill wanted to do something really nice for her mom. And I had the pleasure to make this book for her. This is one of my really big books. It has about 175 pages um, and it has like a three inch spine that's curved and um, I went ahead and did this type of stitch again just because it's really secure that way and I like how it looks um, and then there is this lovely tassel here I've had a few people ask if I could do a tutorial on a tassel and I can definitely do an updated tutorial I need to do a lot of updated tutorials um, but I do have one on my channel, obviously, and so I will have that linked below if you want to see. I've changed up a few things since then, but I mean, it's it's overall the, the same idea as how I used to make them. I just use my sewing machine now uh, to make it really secure. But anyways, here we go. And this is using a kit from Tsunami Rose. Um, here we go, let's get on in. I have a lace closure here and there are actually two pieces of lace. So I thought that was kind of pretty and dainty there. So we just open this up and let's get in because there's a lot of pages. So I'm going to flip through hopefully pretty fast um, and I just will point out that a lot of the tops have a pocket and I have done a sewn photo mat with a print on each side and um, you can see I also played around with my stitching here quite a bit and um, I wanted to do that because I am thinking she's going to be using this book to possibly put photos of her husband in here or um, Jill might put photos of her dad I guess it would be in here for her mom so I wanted there to be some a really set up way to add photos so I'm not gonna go through every pocket on the top. You know, you guys know how it goes. There's a, just a ton of pockets up here, a ton. Um, so we have a lace pocket here with some journaling cards and I s did sew a lot of the ephemera um, just like I did in the last book. And you know, it takes extra time, but I think it's, it's worth the detail. And I am just loving this stitch right here. This is a frame and I have a little acetate pull out thing so it's easy. They can replace a photo right here in front. And then there is this little Tim Holtz um, metal plate. It says, know in your heart you are loved. And I just thought that was fitting since she was giving it as a gift. And then there's a little tuck spot over here. So this is some really gorgeous, it was a like a handkerchief and I, I I had a hard time cutting it, but it's just made the prettiest pocket with an envelope and a little journaling card. And you're gonna see, I might not have done too much to the pieces or the pages that are the hummingbird pages because they're so pretty by themselves. But of course I would like add stamping or stenciling or embossing, stitching, things like that. Some little bells down here, um, a little bird like vintage book page pockets and bags um, they will be able able to fill this book up with hopefully some memories and you're going to see that when we get to the very last signature um, I did kind of recreate how I made my first hummingbird book and I made that last signature basically a writing journal area um, whoa my cat scared me it's really late right now guys trying to get this done so that tomorrow when Alistair wakes up I don't have too much work to do and we can hang out. This is a vintage botanical page and I just like layered some pieces on here and it's a pocket up here. But yeah, I just thought that maybe if there was a a signature that was completely um, designated to journaling, that might be a good spot to do so. Of course, you could also add photos. So I did a lot of embossing in this one as well. I think maybe I already mentioned that. I don't know, it's late. Little pull uh, fold out area here. 
lots of pockets and you know just my usual i don't think i did anything too new to this one um yeah i don't know i like i'm really enjoying adding the embossing in the books because i think it adds adds a lot it's like a little detail but you know um ephemera pieces from junk that treasures vintage music paper or music page gonna go through here a little quicker because I'm tired guys oh I just I am loving these uh, vintage botanical pages and making them into a pocket um, I had these in my shop for a while as layered vintage pockets and I would sell like five of them for whatever I don't remember what price it was I think it was like $15 but I would have them all sewn and ready for you to use in your um, books and I don't have any right now but if that is an interest I would be happy to add those again and make up a couple batches little pockets my kitty is like playing with a marble or something on the ground <laughs> I'm loving the distress oxides to add just like a little little touch kitty you're gonna wake up the household little fold out area here on a envelope vintage gardening book page and if anything I hope that this book will bring her joy and you know just something that she can look through and add things to or you know find some happiness in you know i do i do i had a really great time making this i was waiting on a few things that i ordered from aliexpress and one of them were some hummingbird charms and they were really inexpensive if you guys know if you've ordered from there and I was super excited and I still haven't received them. So I ended up going to Joanne's tonight to see if I could find any and I could not. So I found these little feather charms and I also, what else? I got some other charms. Okay, so now we're into the writing. Now you guys know, I can't just like leave it alone. So it's coffee dyed. I add some washi, um, stenciling washi, you know, throughout. And I added a couple things, but for the most part, I tried to keep it just plain, a few bags and stuff like that. I just, I can't not add the details, you know? It's just some, it's just a part of what I do. A page from Shakespeare, but for the most part, you know, it's just a ton of writing space. I mean, even if I am adding these details, I feel like it's so fun to journal like around this. And so it's set up for you, it's ready to go. So, I really hope that she enjoys this, and Jill, thank you again. This is the second book sh that Jill's ordered from me, and I appreciate that so much, and thank you for the patience. Um, and I am sending a little bag of extras that can be used in here or wherever, and yeah, I guess I didn't, oh, wanted to point out one thing real quick. I didn't point this out, but on this tassel, I am loving this little bird cage, and this just was perfect since I didn't end up getting the hummingbird charms. Um, I feel like this is a special piece, and it's so pretty, and this was from Darla from Eclectic Crafter. Eclectic Crafter, and there's a key, and then some little beads that I put on here. And I am just, I love the tassels. So much fun, guys. Um, I actually, here, while we're here, I made another tassel that's going to be for a tropical book. Whoops, that's going to be in my shop pretty soon. And uh, this is the tassel for that one. And it's really fun because it's so bright. And uh, let's see, there is some flamingos and stuff like that. And this is going to go on this book, which I started and then I got sidetracked. So now that I'm all done with the orders from, for Frank and done with this one, I just have to finish my journal for Didi Dai over at Didi Dai's corner, Diane. <laughs> and um, I, yeah, I always think her name is Didi Dai, but Diane. Um, and so I need to finish her book. And then I've been saying that I'm going to try to work on a big batch of like 10 journals that I can list in July or throughout July. So that is my plan. I'm working on it. I'm getting things prepped. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to start filming some more tutorials for you guys too because it's been a while but I have my tripod fixed. Not my tripod that I've had in the past that makes it really easy for filming but it's a tripod and it works so 
anyways okay talk to you guys later bye